Welcome to the Music and Art Building, as it may be. The thing that's really neat about this building is that about 12 years ago, they completely renovated this space. And so we went from essentially just offering like a drawing and painting course to having a whole variety of artistic offerings. So as we walk, all of the stuff that you see is actually student-created artwork and all of the different types of medium that are available to them now. So, for instance, as we go into the printmaking studio, what you'll see in here are a lot of different um, printmaking styles. So we've got glass etchings, linoleum etchings, our students will do different artwork with stamps, screen printing on shirts. And so the whole point of printmaking is kind of being able to create art that you can replicate really easily. So that's something that we've added in recent years. And as we continue, we'll also see the two-dimensional art studio. So this is what you might consider more of a traditional art class. This is where we're gonna have drawing and painting. We're gonna have things like architectural drafting, which is really neat. And our students have the opportunity to experience a lot of different types of drawing and painting courses outside of just standard. And then the last room that I wanna show you in this hallway is gonna be our three-dimensional art studio. So this is a room that houses classes like ceramics and sculpture. So you can see right now, one of the things that the three-dimensional students are doing is they're actually building their own boats. And so this is a really neat opportunity and something very unique for them to put in portfolios if they wanna to go to an art school. But these are also gonna be functional. And so at the end of the year, they'll put these in the water, they'll get a chance to race them, uh, but they also get to kind of make their own mark on this artwork. So it's a really neat opportunity that our students are getting that you wouldn't get in a traditional artistic setup. So now we're gonna go up to the second floor. Uh, the second floor is where a lot of our performance arts classes are housed. And so we're gonna see things like band, chorale, and a lot of our other performing arts. Welcome to the second floor of the Music and Art Building. This hallway is gonna uh, really hit a lot of the performing arts, especially in music. So our band and our chorale. So there's a lot of different opportunities up here. One of the things to show off is that we have essentially eight of these music practice rooms. They're built with very different setups across the building. Uh, but this is a space where students can come and practice if they have a recital coming up, if they just wanna get in some work, play their instrument, they can play the piano or they can bring their own instrument into this space. As we walk down the hallway, we're gonna see a lot of different opportunities. So one of the things that's really neat is that our students who wanna maybe take introductory level courses, we have some offerings there, especially in piano. And so this is our keyboard lab, and this is where Dr. Jones teaches his intro to piano class. And so all of our students who have any interest in learning that are gonna have access to that here. And so if you take the intro and you wanna advance, or if you're already a little bit more advanced than that, we've got intermediate advanced courses and then all of our band students can also take private lessons through an audition process. So all of that's gonna be available to them as well. We also have our performance space, our rehearsal space. So this is where our band ensemble and our chorale will meet. And so you'll notice that it's not a particularly large room. They tend to be smaller groups, but the people who pursue it are really passionate about it. And so you get to be surrounded by other people who are really passionate about music, which is a really neat opportunity for our students. Other spaces that we have on this floor are going to be the offices for like our dance instructor, our theater instructor, uh, spaces like that, but they teach in a different building and so we'll get to explore some of that as we continue our tour. So that concludes the Music and Art Building. We're gonna go and see some of other spaces next. We'll see you there.